I got into music and uh, making music when I was about 9, 10 years old. I was always uh, playing around with music that, uh, that I recorded on cassettes and making mixes and stuff like that. Yeah, after a while, you know, this was a couple of years later when I started going out, going clubbing. I was about 16, you know, I met a couple of guys who had a small studio. And um, we decided to just sit, uh, sit down together and, um, and start making music, just see where it, uh, where it would take us. After a few trials, I was able to just give this to one of the local record stores, one of the guys that was working there. He was an A&R manager at a, at a bigger uh, dance music label. And uh, so I had, my, had that music pitched and that's how, uh, how I ended up having my first release. Fast forward a few years, uh, when I was about 25, I mean, I was still at school. Uh, I started to become an uh, electrical engineer, which was uh, fun for me, but not as much uh, fun as, uh, as when I would come home after school and switch on my equipment. I made a track, uh, Moon Man, Don't Be Afraid, and that was sort of like the blueprint for what, what was to come after that. Also, that gave me sort of like direction of, of what I really wanted to do, even though I was at school. I knew from that moment on that I wanted to make music, uh, produce music for, uh, for real as a, as a profession. Not long after that, I produced uh, System F out of the blue. And since then, you know, things really went off. Before I realized it, within I think this time span of about three months, I was playing all over the world in the biggest clubs and uh, you know everyone was, was talking about that being the music, being the, the, the new thing. But that was just uh, in a nutshell how, how things really worked for me. Mm -hmm. 